Hey, what's up guys? We're at Jones Subwoofer Solutions again, doing another Amp Dino video. And what could it be today? Ta-da, it's a Soundstream T1 6000 DL Tarantula 6000 watt max power. I'm sure you guys have seen this around. Those of you that haven't, uh, it's mostly known for operation at half ohm. Uh, I know it says one ohm stable on the box. I'm pretty sure this is the one that everyone runs at half ohm. Uh, we'll dig in a little bit and see. Uh, it does have this 17 million color, uh, changeable color. I'm sure you can see it from under the box, but I'll move it. Uh, so there you go. Evidently you can program that. That's how it was brought to me. If you like that sort of thing. I guess that's kind of cool. A lot of amps don't light up these days. The uh, amp itself, it came with the amp and it came with the telephone cord style base knob. Nothing special. This is used, like I said, a customer dropped this off. Um, no clip indicator, no power light, just a normal phone jack. And the amp, I imagine it probably came with a fuse originally. Um, here is the ratings on the box. It says 800 watts by one oh, sorry, 800 watts by one at four ohm, 1400 watts by one at two ohms, 2500 watts by one at one ohm. There is the half ohm rating, 3000 watts by one at half ohm, and somehow 6000 watts max power. It said that on the front of the box too, 6000 watts max power. So we'll see. I do know the customer that had this, he, he was running it at half ohm. So there's that, it, it is at least half ohm stable. Uh, he's had it running at half ohm for quite a while as far as I know. So uh, here we are, uh, we're running it on the C-Max bank. I think I'm charging around 15.2, 15.3 volts. I don't have any chargers on right now though. Uh, hooked up with one op cable as per factory specs. All right, so we're ready to do our dyno runs. I like to start with certified. Got it all queued up. We're ready to go. So certified. One ohm. And what did it say it was rated? This was 2,500 watts rated. Starting at 15.1 volts. We'll see what she does. We got 1,835 watts and uh, dropped to 14.8 volts. Amperage kept on ticking there, went to 241. So not, not so good. But maybe it'll do rated at two ohms, we'll see. We'll clear my meter. All right, uh, two ohm run starting at 15.19 volts. Get 1,333 watts and at two ohms, dropping to 15 volts. It didn't count cleanly though. I'm gonna go ahead and just restart that one. It jumped right, right out the gate. So two ohms again, starting at 15.19 volts. Yeah, no better. So 1,312 watts into two ohms, uh, pulled 148 amps. So not rated under two ohms either. That was supposed to do 1,400 watts. Four ohms is rated uh, 800 watts. 
set my meter in case you guys care. A lot of you guys say you don't care about the four ohm runs. All right, four ohms starting at 15.2 volts. Reset that and start playing. There we go. Eight hundred forty one watts into four ohms, drop into fifteen point one volts, drew eighty one and a half amps. So now we'll do some uncertified runs. Uncertified should show us a little bit higher numbers. It goes all the way to clipping, all the way to all the way to clipping. Um, do one ohm starting at 15.1 volts. Here we go. You know, that's another one. It just didn't start clean. I don't know what the issue is. We're going to restart that one. So uncertified one ohm. Did it again. Nineteen hundred nine watts into one ohm, dropped to fourteen point seven volts, and drew a whopping two hundred forty amps. Again, I'll I'll look up efficiencies and figure that out for you guys when I edit the video. So next is two ohm, thirteen starting at fifteen point one volts. Fourteen hundred ten watts into two ohms at fourteen point nine volts. Really not impressed with this so far. Its uh, only good point might be that it it's four or it's half ohm stable. Sorry, four ohms starting at fifteen point two volts. Do this one more time for uncertified. Nine hundred eight watts. Nine hundred eight watts dropped to fifteen volts. Drew eighty two amps. And I expected better. I'll say that. Last we'll do uh, dynamic power here. This is burst. This is uh, supposed to be whoops, closest to a, a music run. Start at one ohm. Set our meter here. So dynamic power for the Tarantula 6000. And we're starting at 15.1 uh, volts. This said 6000 watts max power. So 2,832 watts into one ohm, dropped to 14.9 volts, 116.3 amps. So didn't even do 3K dynamic. So we'll try two ohms. Starting at 15.1 volts. 
Again, dynamic burst. One thousand seven hundred twenty watts into two ohms. Drop to fifteen point one volts there, sixty seven point nine amps drawn. And we'll do a four ohm run here. Dynamic. There we go. Nine hundred fifty-four watts into four ohms through thirty-eight amps. So yeah, that's uh, kind of underwhelming, especially with all the hype that it does half ohm. Um, I don't really dare do half ohm. Like I said, this is a customer's amp. Uh, I dare do 0.8 ohm dynamic though. That's usually not too rough on things. Uh, maybe, maybe. It will uh, throw out 6,000 watts dynamic. Uh, you just have to go under one ohm to get that rating. Let's let's see. So dynamic power burst, uh, 0.8 ohms, starting at 15.1 volts. Let's see what she's got. Well, much better. Much better. So we got 3,333 watts. Uh, drew 136 amps, 14.9 volts. So it did do 3K. I imagine at half ohm, you're going to see 3K out of it. Uh, but that 6K number is nowhere to be found. So there you have it. That's all the... The dyno info I have for you. If you guys hang on just a second here, I will get the back plate off and we can take a look inside. All right, guys, I got the amp plate off. Got an amp opened up. You can see the guts. Um, so let's, let's see what's in there. It looks like they are using some four gauge OFC uh, caps say 105 degrees or 105 degree caps I apologize I'm not I'm not huge on the amps I build subs just so you guys can get a look it, it looks well built I mean it didn't do rated power but we do know it's it's built to handle half ohm at least so there you guys have it and then uh, just show you a better view of the end caps here it does have these angle terminals that most of us hate it, it's very hard to get your one out cable in and out of those with the amp mounted um, there's the button for the LEDs uh, you do get uh, a, two pairs of speaker outputs and on this end Uh, typical for uh, sound stream. You have an input and an output. You've got uh, your gain, your input level, phase shift, 180 degrees or zero, subsonic filter or high pass filter, 15 to 50 hertz, bass boost, zero to 12 dB, low pass filter is 40 hertz to 220 hertz. That's actually nice. That's lower than a lot of amps will go. Uh, and it does have, it uh, looks like it's linkable with the Slave Master. Uh, so you can, uh, I don't know if these strap the normal way. It does have uh, that headphone jack there. Um, so these may be strappable. So there you guys have it. That's all I got for the Soundstream T16000DL. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Please leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave them below. Any requests, leave them below. Uh, remember to subscribe. Click the bell so you guys know when I'm posting a new video. 
thank all of you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.